Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got the most insane lightning bolt caught up close, two excellent stories on earthquake triggering by Jupiter in the sun. We'll do a space weather forecast, and of course, we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring is dropping out. Big sunspots making the flares have departed, leaving smaller spots, plasma filaments, and the coronal hole. The solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet at the moment. Could change this weekend. Let's take a little closer look at the sunspot groups, and you can see the bigger ones are heading towards the far side as they turn to the right, leaving a much more quiet left side of the sun in coming to face Earth. But that's only applicable to the sunspots. The plasma filaments are straddling the incoming coronal hole, and it is likely to face Earth tomorrow, making for the impact from its solar wind stream to occur Saturday or Sunday. This is critical because that's when Hurricane Aaron will decide whether to go north or continue west. Folks, I wasn't sure if this was AI at first, but it's been confirmed out of the Mount Pleasant Police Department it was their dash cam. Not only does the bolt cause a major explosion at the strike point, but electrical explosions far away from the strike point. It's one of the best examples of this electrical impact caught on camera in a long time. Up next, excellent to see this topic staying alive, the seismic forcing of Jupiter. There are several planetary alignments that tend to amplify seismic activity, and the inferior conjunction of Jupiter is a big one. Solid work here, and they also do give a nod to the importance of Venus and Saturn. Lastly on the article front, excellent work here showing how solar activity can trigger earthquakes. They not only found the pre-seismic geomagnetic signals, but were able to tie them to solar storm activity. When you remember the impact of electromagnetism on water, metal, and crystals, the paradigm makes perfect sense. Same electrochemical setup as we have in the atmosphere and in the human body. Works just as well beneath our feet. Folks, the next issue of Observer Review comes out in two days. Our e-magazine is the only publication on Earth actively following the sun, weather, earthquakes, and the magnetic pole shift on a monthly basis. This month, we hit the deadly nature of magnetic pole shifts along with many other solar forcings and space weather topics. Link to join is below and you get access to every issue ever when you sign up. It's about two or three books worth of material for less than a combo meal at a fast food restaurant. We've got a pole shift conference coming to Observer Ranch later this month. We've got one in September too, along with Dr. Dunning coming to Founders Weekend. Big events there and more coming in October and November. Find a time to come see us. Book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. Link to get the e-magazine is below as well, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.